Hello, 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 it's Nestor 27 and I'm back with another episode of this Pokemon Stadium 2 Let's Play in the last episode. Wow, I almost butchered my own my own intro. I couldn't even remember the last time we played this game. But in the last episode, we defeated the Challenge Cup Great Ball. Um, this time we're going to try to finish off uh, half of the Ultra Bowl. And yeah, if you guys uh, could please drop a like rating, it really does help the channel a lot. Um, yeah, I'm just sort of distracted. I'm just like staring at my own hair because like I just got a haircut and I'm just like... The guy just like went ham and just like completely like he he like lined me up. This is like really like new to me. I like never like I had like just like a straight line and be like oh that's how I do it. But like this guy like I've never had someone like line it up for me like so perfectly. So like if you guys do enjoy the new look like leave a like rating. Actually, a question today would be like oh do you guys like my new haircut? I I sort of like it. Like I don't know. I don't I don't know. It's just like I don't know. It's just like. I'm trying stuff out. I'm trying stuff out. But I do like the beard. I do like the beard being this way. So what do you guys think? The new look? Yay or nay? Uh, comment section below. But anyway, we're going to look at this guy's team. He's got a Quagsire Sand slash Ponyta, uh, Tremillion, Vileplume, and Piloswine. Seems like there's a um, bit of a water weakness over on his side. So I want Mantike. Uh, we need a Grass type. We don't really have a Grass type, which is a super unfortunate because that could have helped with the Quagsire. Um... I'm gonna lead off with the uh, Mantine. I'm gonna have to have the Vile Plume or uh, the Sneasel because um, cause uh, just for the Vile Plume, and then uh, I would say Magneton, but that thing's useless. Sandslash is pretty useless. I'm gonna go with s s wait. I think I went with the right Pokemon. I'm not sure. I think I went down and then right. I would be really bad if I actually chose it because I think I chose like down first. Which was uh, unprofessional. <laughs> well, not really unprofessional. It was just like super stupid of me. But yeah, uh, just down instead of to the right. So we're gonna go against uh, Ponita. It's like wow, its legs are like eh, just like pointed inward. So we're gonna take a gander. Your moves are pretty booty. Not gonna lie, but let's see how much a bubble beam will do. I don't think Swift should be doing that much since Mantine is actually a special defense beast. Like I don't know why, but like I was uh, what's it called um. What I was told was that like Skarmory and uh, Mantine were supposed to be like like um, counterparts to each other for walls. Like they both had the same exact like um, sad, not sets, but like um, base, base, uh, base, uh, base opposites. So like it's special. The Skarmory's physical defense is the same as Mantine's special defense, and then vice versa. So. Um, that's like, I guess a new, th like I didn't really know that until like a few weeks ago, which is actually pretty cool. Okay, so, <laughs> so quite, ah, quick little uh, fa fun fact of the day about Mantine and Skarmory, if you guys aren't too familiar with those Gen 2 pokes. So we're going to be going against Ma Sand Slash Mantine, wow, I'm very, I'm very good. Um, Go with a Bubble Beam again, let's see if we outspeed it. Oh, we outsped it, that's really weird, because Sand Slash is actually Mantine, like I can't imagine this thing being faster than anything. The out of water at least like I can imagine its ability oh hyper beam ah! oh god that's gonna do a lot of damage thankfully Saint Slash isn't too bulky or too offensive so we can go with whatever move we want it'll be like all fine so uh, whatever I'm gonna finish off the Mantine didn't even need to see the Saint Slash go for a recharge Re recharge recharge yeah wow my face still itches and my the back of my neck like I don't know if you guys like enjoy this but like I hate it when like the dude like I hate when I get like the back my neck shaved it's just like it's like why why must he do this to me like it gets so much like annoyances so we're gonna actually get out to be the Charmeleon which actually surprised me but like it's like oh god there's like, now like a lot of like tiny little hairs on me and it's just like it's really it's really itching my like the back of my neck I'm just like if I just start like scratching the back of my neck that's why and like I'm like look at my hand just to like make sure there's not too much hair and wow we actually out we actually lived a headbutt we were at like 30 and we lived with six that's actually a pretty pitiful Charmeleon you deserve to die after this one just just be gone I don't want to see you I don't want to see you if, if you're not talking Abby so I don't want to talk bitch bitch all right <laughs> that's enough of that and um yeah we won this battle pretty cleanly nice sweep nice man time sweep not bad Actually, that makes me want to actually play with Mantine <laughs> and uh, on Showdown, just like start going with that. But um, I was thinking possibly for the channel, uh, possibly um, going about the 
going about the channel a little bit differently. By that I mean like, <laughs> actually, whatever, I'll go with it. Um, essentially I'll be going with like, I'll be attempting, I don't know, just like in a few, in a few days I'll probably be trying to do these whole double uploads thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but let's take a gander on uh, this Grunts team. We've got Pupitar, Weezing, ugh, Weezing, ugh, I hate that thing. Venomoth, ooh, Haunter, Magneton, and Quillfish. Alright, so common pokes that I don't want like are the Weezing and the Haunter, both of which can be handled with uh, Sand Slash, so we're gonna need that. Actually, Sand Slash can deal with Magneton too and the Pupitar. Ooh, that's really good. Ooh, that's powerful. Alright, so we're gonna have. Magneton to join us just for the quillfish. So we're gonna have Magneton, Sand Slash, and then um, uh, I guess Ponita. Yeah, Ponita. Ponita. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm saying it like that. Ponita, Senora, Senora. What's it called? Um, just the other day I went to watch um this movie called Chef. I know it's just like. Sounds sounds gay, but whatever. Um, just don't judge, don't judge, don't hate, guys, don't hate, don't judge anything by its cover. Um, let's go with the rain dance real quick. Um, yeah, just <laughs> hyper beam. Wow, wow, really? First turn hyper beam. How much? That did like 20 damage. Was that, was that even worth it? Was that even worth it? Yeah, I'm trying to make it rain right here. <laughs> but um, back to the movie. The movie was actually uh, pretty interesting. It's just like about this uh this chef. <laughs> yeah, it's chef. There's a chef in the movie Chef. I would have never guessed, but like this chef who just like gets absolutely demolished by this uh by this um uh, uh, what's it called critique or whatever they call them. Like this critique just absolutely ripped him a new one. Just like like there was no coming back from it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I accidentally went for endure. I'm so stupid. I disable. Ooh, that was clutch. Oh my god, that was actually really clutch. That was a clutch to misclick, actually. But like... <laughs> just like the the dude was just like all like depressed. He's like, I don't know what to do with my life. There's no point. All that jazz. And I'm just like, okay. And then he goes on about to say... Uh, he goes, <laughs> goes from like serving this like steakhouse to being this like taco truck guy. Like, you know, the guys who serve food out of a truck. And then like he found his new like love for food again. He's just like he's doing it again and blah blah blah. And why'd this guy send out a quillfish? That's not exactly the best move, because we still have the rain. I'm not exactly sure if this thing wants to take a single thunder from uh from Magneton. You're gonna go for a water gun. Oh god, look, look out, it's a water gun, look out, then we got a badass here. <laughs> yeah, just like that pretty much did as much as the hyper beam to be honest, but like it was a really interesting movie. Like I sort of liked it, even though uh, don't tell my cousin that, cause like I was like, this is a stupid movie. Oh well, uh, it was pretty interesting to say the least. Oh my god, my neck needs to stop itching. Like, <laughs> wow, whatever. Like if the guy didn't style it for me, I would totally take a shower right now. Oh whatever, I'll do that later. So we'll be going against him, wheezing, 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 wheezing. All right, we're going. No more. No more. Let's see if we can actually hit a thunder without it. I wonder. Magneton, can you actually hit it? Are you gonna be cross-eyed? You got three eyes. Come on. One of you guys can be on target. Oh, dang. Dang. That was a nice hit. A rollout. Yeah, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Look at that. Three damage. We got <laughs> triple Magneton uh, sandwich right there. We're gonna go for a swift just to make sure we don't miss a single move. Ooh, the power of the swift right here. Ah. Nice clean hit. Nice 3-0 sweep once again by Magneton. Oh, what the? Okay. I can't stop looking at my beard. It looks so nice having it like lined up. I never had, like it's so weird. I don't know. It's also weird because like I usually have it relatively longer, but the new, the shorter look looks pretty, pretty crisp. I don't know. May or may not get rid of the mustache though because I can't really see it. I don't know. I don't know. Get rid of this part too probably. Oh god, <laughs> I shouldn't be messing with my beard during a recording, whatever. WHATEVER! I don't even know if I'm actually being loud enough, oh well. Ooh, this is gonna be an interesting team, all week to, almost all week to Magneton. That's gonna be fun. So we're gonna bring Magneton, who can take on the Hitmonchop. Hitmonchop can be dealt with Magnet, Mantine, and then um, 
Bring in Sneasel. Bring in Sneasel just in case we need backup for these uh, flying types. Just in case that him on top decides to lead off, which would be really bad. Quite poor. Quite poor for us. We're going to lead off with the Magneton once again. If he leads off with the him on top. I'm switching right out. I'm not going to lose it. Okay. Ready? Alright. Send out the Golbat. Golbat's really scary because these things can go for like um, confusions, mean looks. They just can do anything that literally like can annoy you. So we're going to go first. He's going to go for Swift. It does like no damage. No damage at all. Going to get that nice rain dance going again because we don't want none of that. None of that missing. We don't want any cross side moments because if you guys watch, um, can't even remember. It was like one of the, it might have just been like on my own time. It's just like, I play, I've been trying to get better at the competitive scene so I've just been like playing a little bit more showdown. So if you guys, uh, if you guys ever want to battle me and like if you, I'm on showdown, don't be afraid to ask me. I usually, I usually say sure, let's battle and I try to. Try to bring something, but I essentially what ends up happening, you guys like destroy me. I'm just like, no, you absolutely destroyed me. I suck. But whatever. Um, I like to think I'm not as bad as I as uh, some people. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I just went silent because like I was like, what, what, what is this? What is he talking about? But yeah, might gonna, probably gonna switch out right now because I'm not appreciating the fact that I might lose the 3-0 and Magneton and it's still really useful for the rest of his team because if he brings the uh, the Skarm then it's pretty much over it's gonna go for us alright pretty sure I hit him on top outspeeds me so I'm gonna go for a wing attack if I outspeed it then uh, now I know now I know now I know that a Mantine in the rain will outspeed a hit on top. I'm not going to be touched by it because I am flying for God's sake. Like it doesn't affect me bro. I'm too fly for you. <laughs> too fly for you in this uh, this uh, ground. You're grounded. Your ground status. I don't even think a hit wing attack can kill him on top. Wow that was pitiful. That was absolutely pitiful. Not even going to lie. Okay. Okay that did like a decent chunk. That's not exactly optimal. No, the rain! I need it, I need it, bruh. I need it. Alright, whatever, whatever. We're gonna go with another wing attack. Because we gotta get that massive damage. Massive damage. That's super effective. Ooh. <laughs> Why can't it be a 2 KO? Why do you have to be 3 KO? That's so weak. Alright, whatever, whatever. We're not getting too much damage put upon us. We're gonna go for another wing attack. Just finish off the hit mod top. Wing attack doesn't have any accuracy. has a 100 accuracy, so... That guarantees the hit unless he's got bright powder, which he assumingly doesn't have because I don't think that was a move or an item in, in this generation. Wow, my words are slurring so hard right now. Murkrow! Get out of here. Oh, we have Icy Wind on this thing. Hello? We can go for some Icy Winds. What are you gonna do? Fly? What? What? That's not gonna affect him. Watch us like, watch us outspeed it now. It's like, oh, there's a speed tie. I don't think a fly should kill because it is a little Murkrow, for God's sakes. Taking on a Mantine, that did a lot of damage. I probably should have just switched out to, uh, to Magneton because that was just the perfect time. I'm gonna go for an Icy one. That should do a lot of damage. Wow, that did like nothing. The speed has fallen. Um, I'm sort of scared of Nightshade, so I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out into. Uh, into Magneton. Once again, I probably should have gone into Sneasel. Actually, uh, no. No. I'm just like thinking. I was just like, I don't think so because it could go for like... I think Murkrow can outspeed. Don't quote me. Okay, we're gonna be flying high and no lie. I think Thunder still hits flying pokes because for God's sakes, it's coming from the sky. Could this be it? Bop! Bop! You're dying. <laughs> it should be like, if he's flying, he should be like, in the sky, just like, ah! Just like, fall on the ground. That should be a special animation, you know? That'd be really cool. I don't know. The game's been made like God knows how long ago, so it's not really expected for them to actually do that kind of stuff. We got another perfect, so that'll be coming in handy later, because I do believe that, as always, it does get really, really hard near the end. I think last time we ended up using almost every, we used every single continue of ours. Before we ended up winning, so <laughs> we're gonna be going against the last member. Um, don't even know who you are. I'm. A, I let my guitar do talking. All right, so this is gonna be quite interesting. Um, 
Once again, shut up phone. I probably should have put you on mute, but whatever. Um, there's a uh, three folks that are. Ah, damn, this is really bad. Like, okay, shut up phone. I'm gonna throw you. I'm gonna throw you. Like, uh. oh well. Um, I'm gonna put you on the seat so you don't make any more noises. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Br I'm gonna bring Ponita. Um, I'm gonna need the sand slash specifically for the Raichu, I guess. And, uh... I don't know Stantler's moveset. If I knew it, I would... If I knew it, I would go with it. You know what? Let's go with it. Let's go with it. You only live once. <laughs> that was so stupid. This actually should've... <sighs> should've gone with... Should've gone with what's it called. Sneasel. Should've gone with Sneasel. Okay, I'm gonna lead off with Ponita and it's like bow-leggedness. Going against a Pupitar. Pupitar. Pupitar! I don't even know the sound that Pupitar makes, so I'm gonna go with Into the Sand Slash because I don't want to be taking an Earthquake, I'm assuming. An abrupt Pokemon change! Yes, it was abrupt. I would much rather have this thing take a hit compared to Ponita. Ponita cannot take hits, senora. Okay, yeah, Earthquake, just like I thought. That's, uh, that's gonna do a hefty chunk, not gonna lie. It's like a 4 KO. Please have Earthquake. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We got the Earthquake. I was like, do we have Dig? Please, no. Please. Massive feedback. Please, for the love He had a Jump Bluff. Please, for the love of God, tell me you didn't go for the Jump Bluff. Okay, Sun Flora, Sun Flora. What can Sun Flora even do? Okay, I'm gonna go for an Earthquake. That's gonna do like nothing to the Sun Flora, to be honest. It's gonna do like 20 damage. I guess Sun Flora's terrible stats uh, covered me on that one. I'm gonna go back into Bonita. Bonita, Senora! Senora! <laughs> this person needs to stop with the changing, to be honest. I would... I need my one-on-one -on -one matchups, okay? Just be like... Just don't switch out. Why can't you be like a regular game? Just... Just let me take you on one-on-one. -on -one. Or 6v1, to be honest. Because I could use any of my pokes to take you on. That didn't accomplish much. True! Alright, um... Let's see what moves you got. Fire Blast. Fire Blast. I was expecting some double kicks, but okay. This dude needs to stop. Like, seriously. Puppetar, really? Puppetar? Rejoining the battle? Can I get a burn out of this fire blast? Like, is that a thing? That did like nothing. Ah. Arg. So stupid. I just need. I'm gonna be- I'm running out. I'm running out of Sand Slash usage right now. Can't be taking any more Earthquakes, essentially. I don't think so, at least. <sighs> Alright, um, how about this? How about this? Uh, Earthquake. I'm gonna go for another Earthquake, just in case he wants to stay in. Which he doesn't, he's gonna switch out into some Flora again. Oh my god, oh my god, that's so annoying right now. Stop switching. Okay, next time, I'm just gonna switch right out. I'm gonna switch into... I'm gonna go for an Earthquake. I'm gonna have it resisted by the Sun Flora again. That was weak. I'm gonna switch into Ponita. And then after, I'm just gonna switch right back out. Right back out. And, uh... Just right back into Sand Slash. Just be like, okay, you are dying this turn. But I'm pretty sure that this game chooses its move based on what you do, or after you choose yours, which is really messed up. Or that might have just been um, Pokemon G Gale of Darkness and Coliseum, I don't know. But I'm gonna switch out, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit right now. I'm gonna switch out, come on. There's no re- Yeah, it's an abrupt one, I'm predicting. I'm predicting right now, you've been playing this exact same game this entire match. Swear to God if you don't listen to it. KICK IT! I'm going to murder this game. It's like, why? That was so stupid. Just, why? I, I, sorry if my camera went out of focus for a brief second. I just like... I'm going to murder. I'm going to murder this thing. Alright, um... Fire Blast is all I can do. So you're going to switch out because you're... Stop! Stop doing this. Why are you switching like all... 
Like they know that what I'm gonna do before I even do it. That's the thing. It's just it's not exactly optimal for me. God, I gotta burn. I gotta burn. That's good. So I don't think an earthquake should kill, especially since Pupitar isn't exactly the bulk, the strongest of mod to be honest. That did like nothing. Earthquake. I don't think I'm gonna take one. Yeah, by the fact that he said it. Oh, we lived. We lived. Okay. Okay. I think if we go, ooh, Goldberry, that's clutch. That is clutch as hell. I'm gonna go, I was about to go for a Swagger. That could have been really bad. Wow, why are you switching out right now? Why? Atlantic. Oh my god. Oh my god. This person, stop. Stop switching. I'm going, <laughs> please, please. Stomp. I cannot speed this thing, I believe. And hopefully, like, flinch it to death. I think Stomp allows for flinching, maybe? That's like... I can maybe do flinches? Flinches? No. Bye, Ponita. That was, uh, that was a very, uh, anticlimactic move. To be honest, I was expecting a little bit more, but whatever. Whatever, major loser. Okay, Stantler, you're gonna have to come through. You're gonna have to come through right now. Stantler, Stantler, Stantler. I don't even know what Stantler noises I make. Oh, has Earthquake, Clutch, Clutch, that's all I need. Earthquake, goodbye Lantern, I believe. I don't think a Lantern can take an Earthquake, but then again, Stantler is not exactly the strongest of mons. Yeah, Lantern's pretty bulky to be honest, but I thought it was more especially defensive. Thunder Wave. That's exactly like you, Seth. This, I hope you... God damn it, Seth. Seth, coming in like a T wave. Swear to Jesus Christ. I swear to God, there's probably gonna be a lot of paral paralyzed hex that's going on right now. There are a lot of hexes. Gonna be coming. It's gonna come down to the wire, to be honest. I'm gonna, not gonna miss uh, the earthquake. Yo, yo, yo. It's uh, P your boy, P to the R L Y Z. Paralyzed hex, coming in like a T wave. <laughs> God damn it, Seth. Why you gotta do this to me? Why you gotta be like this? I'm not appreciating the fact that you did this to me. San Flora! Alright, you're making like weird animation. That's not what I want to be seeing. I'm gonna have to go for a stomp. Actually, could have gone for a double team to be honest, but whatever. Hopefully, Giga Drain shouldn't be doing too much, but then again, it is uh, Stantler. It's not exactly bulky, but San Flora has pitiful, pitiful special attack. It's pitiful everything. And oh my god, here come the Paralyzed Hex. I'm going to murder. I'm going to murder the Paralyzed Hex right now. Come on. Can I get a critical? No, I'm not even going to kill. That's a... Damn it. I got fully paralyzed again. Why? 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 Yes, switch out. Switch out. Switch out so I make sure. Make sure that I don't. Mm. Watch me. Watch me break through. Oh. What was the point? What was the point? <laughs> like, why? Like, watch out. Watch out, man. I could have gone for a double team. San Flora. Alright. It would be really funny if that it ran out of its only attacking move. I don't... Hyper Beam! Really? Really? What? Whatever. Um... Why? Why? Alright. Alright, I got it. I got a text. Um... Should I answer it, guys? Should I answer it? Should I be unprofessional? Should I be like, oh, let me take this person. Hold up, let me take a selfie. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you know what? I'll do that. I'll, I won't do that. I won't do that. That's mean. That's that's unprofessional and mean to you guys. I, <laughs> that would be funny, though, to do that. Um, Sandler was coming through. Sandler is a good poke. Sandler is a good poke, so I want that. Um, Bonita, I'm going to need that, unfortunately. Although, Ponita, yeah, Ponita is going to be needed, and then... 
I'm sort of liking Sneasel right now. Let's bring in Sneasel. Bring in Sneasel. Hold up, let me take a selfie. <laughs> I'm really tempted to just do a selfie right now, just like like with you guys in the background. Just like, ah, there's my like there's like my exploit right there. There's like the game right there. Bring in the Stantler to start off this game. Going against a jump bluff. Jump bluff. Screw jump bluff. Like Jesus. Um gonna go for a stomp. Stop this first turn. We're gonna get stunt sword. No, stop now. Miss, 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 miss. Stop. Fuck. What was that electrify? Why? Okay. Um. Please stop now. Now. Para flinch. Swear to God, if you para flinch me. You better be doing 50% right now. You better be doing 50%. You are... I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna get paraflinched to death. No, he's gonna switch out. He's gonna bring it. Solar beam. Solar beam! Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. We have Ponita. Ponita can do something about this. Ponita can take a solar beam. Berry juice. That's gonna be fun. Ponita can take a solar beam a lot better compared to uh, what's it called? Stantler could. So, pon Senora, Senora, come, come home. We must, we must do, we must do a solar beam. You must clean up mess. <laughs> I don't even know. That's pretty poor. That's like terrible. Those are terrible uh, accents. Senora, Senora, do not get paralyzed. Ah, uh, fire blast. Fire Blast, please outspeed. Please don't be cross-eyed. Please, I'm like closing my eyes. Please, please, please. All right, I heard it. I heard it. I was like, yes, yes. All right, <laughs> that was a weird ass face. Like, ah. All right, I don't even know. Watch out. Ah. So let's see. What is this next poke gonna be? Let's take a Ganda. The Lantern. Ah, snap. Okay, I'm not exactly looking forward to this, but uh, Stantler can take a T-Wave. Uh, Seth, nice to meet you again. Last time you were a bitch to me. I'm gonna... I don't appreciate you doing this to me. I'm gonna scratch my nose. I'm really sorry if you guys thought I was picking my nose. I wasn't. I'm gonna come in like a T-Wave, because that's all Lanterns can do. Come in like a T-Wave. That's why Seth likes it, because he's a bitch. He's bitch-made. <laughs> If he actually watches this, I'll be I'm in for a smacking, but I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. I'm gonna go for an earthquake. Earthquake. Can this lantern eat up an earthquake? Actually, pretty nicely, to be honest. Yeah, that wasn't. That was pretty good. Oh well. Uh, earthquake should finish it off. Finish me off. I dare you. Come in like a T wave. Come in like a T wave right now. That that uh, that did it some nice damage actually. I'm gonna earthquake you. Gonna Da! Young sapling. That should kill. That should kill the lantern. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. There we go. There we go. Get that nice damage. Nice damage. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let's see what this final poke shall be. It shall be... Sun Flora. Alright, Giga Drains are on its way. Hyper Beam is also on its way. I'm gonna switch out to Bonita. Bonita should... Senora. Senora, take this hit, please. All right, please, for the love of God, do massive. Don't go for a go for a Giga Drain. Actually, I'd much prefer not to take a Hyper Beam. Giga Drain that shouldn't do too much. I think it should, did like 20 the last time we saw it. Yeah, about 26. We ate that up quite nicely, quite nicely. I'm gonna go for that nice swah. Not Swagger Fire Blast. Like that was like I was about to click up, but then I was like, no, 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 no. That's to the left, and I miss. Giga Drain. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Whatever. I don't think that's doing too much, so we should be fine. Bonita, bonita, senora. All right. Can't, can't wait to text back this person. I actually feel bad. <laughs> I always feel bad whenever like I can't like I'm in the middle of a recording, but I can't just like I can't like reply back. Oh my God, some Flora, really? You lived with, like 19 HP. You really gonna do this to me? Senora, senora, no. Alright, um, I think we can finish it off with a Stomp, to be honest. And I'm just like, oh, Goldberry, Clutch, Clutch Berry. Uh, Stomp is to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left. Oh, we got outsped. 
Now I feel like we're not even gonna kill the Sun Flora from this range. Because, <laughs> yeah, that didn't accomplish. Actually, that might have been enough to actually live this stomp right here. Oh, no, wow, that just like instantly killed Sun Flora. You die, you die now. Ah! So we were able to get that victory, very nice. We got that 3-0, I believe. I don't think any of our mods died that turn. Um, yeah, I don't think so. We got that perfect, that perfect extra continue. Um, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. It really does mean a lot. Make sure to answer the question of the day, which is right below me. And make make sure to sub subscribe if you want to see more of this. And this has been Nestor, and I will see you guys later.